What talents do you have? Are you a fantastic artist? Maybe you can juggle very well. Or perhaps you're an amazing friend. We all have unique gifts that make us special. And so in a gospel story this weekend, Jesus talks about talents. But what does he mean when he talks about talents? Well, let's unpack this Sunday's gospel reading for this weekend. So when Jesus speaks of talents in the gospel reading for the 33rd Sunday in ordinary time, he's not referring to the talents we've just mentioned, like being a fantastic artist, or juggling very well, or even being an amazing friend. In fact, in the context of the story, talents were a unit of money. But we can think of the talents, we can think of this in a broad way. We can think of the talents as the special gifts and abilities God has given each of us, making us unique. It's like having a special treasure that only you possess. Now, let's think about the talents mentioned in Jesus' parable, or Jesus' story in our Gospel. The Master gives different amounts to his servants. Just as God has given each one of us unique gifts. In the story, one receives five talents, Another servant receives two talents, and the third servant only receives one talent. But we must notice that the master didn't give them the same amount. We see that. and see, The master gave them talents according to their ability. And it's the same for us. God has given you, God has given us specific talents according to our abilities. It might be the, the ability to um, bring people together. Perhaps it's an, a unique ability that we have that we're able to show kindness. Or perhaps we've got this joyful gift of sharing Jesus' message of love to our friends and family. But all of these, these are your unique talents just like the talents in the Gospel. Our talents are like seeds, waiting to grow. Just like a seed can become a beautiful flower or a mighty tree, our talents can blossom and make the world a better place. But it's up to us to nurture and explore them. And so it's a great reminder for us that we have to keep in mind, we have to remind ourselves that the more we use our talents, the more they will grow. It's like sharing a piece of your heart with the world. Maybe you can use your artistic talents to create something beautiful. For those who can juggle very well, maybe you can use that special gift to bring joy and laughter in our world. Or well, perhaps your kindness can help a friend in need. You know, when you share your talents, you're spreading God's love to all those you meet. Just like the servants in the Gospel, their talents multiplied. Your talents will also multiply when you share them with others. So, here's the challenge for our week. Think about one way you can use your talents to bring joy or kindness or perhaps to help someone around you. Think about one way in which you can use your talents to bring joy, kindness or help someone around you. It could be a small act of love or it could be a big act of friendship. How can you make a positive difference in our world by using the gifts God 
has given you. Again, just like the gospel, the servants multiply their talents. How can you multiply your talent? So with this in mind, I'm going to invite us to pray together as we ask the Holy Spirit to help us find our talents and asking the Holy Spirit to help us use our talents. So let's begin as always with the Son of the Cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the special talents you have given each of us. Help us recognize these gifts and use them to spread love, joy, and kindness in the world. Guide us in sharing our unique abilities with others, reflecting your love and bringing light to those in need. Bless us on our journey, that we may always be mindful of the gifts you have entrusted to us. And we make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, as you go about your week, remember that you are uniquely gifted by God. Use your talents to brighten the world and bring joy to those around you. So God bless, and I look forward to seeing you again.